Hey, fire signs. It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance. Every single time I part the deck for y'all, uh, volatility comes out. So I hope you guys won't be getting into any arguments. But anyways, guys, I already did my intro, but I made a mistake and yawned during the intro. So I'm redoing this for you guys. All right, so <laughs> oh, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video. Um, while I continue to acclimate the cards to your energy, go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Try and give this video a big fat thumbs up, which is so important to keep things in a steady rotation for you guys. And leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, so we're going to just jump right in because this is literally weekend energy. So it's supposed to be a shorter version of, you know, a bi-weekly read or whatever. But again, um, I mentioned this in the other intro that I had to stop. But literally other elements have been showing up and other elements like air showed up in earth and you sh showed up with air. So let's just see who shows up for you. Is it going to be air or earth? Is it going to be your own element or will it be fire? Okay. All right. So let's just see. I'm using the earth magic oracles. All right. So what's coming in for fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for this weekend, which is April the 3rd through the 6th. Okay. Spirit, what's coming in for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, communion. All right, so with the communion card, this is definitely what I feel like giving thanks. Um, literally, I don't want to say worshiping, but essentially just communion. What would I consider communion? Vision quest. Oh, okay, so y'all definitely getting earth energy with this deserted island, desert vision quest okay so you guys could definitely be be getting grounded i definitely see you guys um being more visionaries and you guys are already visionaries you guys are very passionate very creative uh so maybe you guys are getting grounded so you can kind of broaden your vision or you know add the practicality to whatever passions you guys are exerting we got childhood innocence so a lot of you guys can be spending time with your kids at this time if not you could definitely be whatever it is whatever vision quest you're setting out on um like i said i do feel like whatever this vision quest is it's more on a creative end um there's also a sense of of exchange. Like, what would I consider communion? When I think of communion, I think about when I went to a Catholic school and we actually had to take wine and cracker or take grape juice and cracker uh, for communion. So I'm trying to figure, maybe that's an exchange. Flesh in my flesh, blood in my blood. Some type of exchange. Eagle. When I get eagle and vision, that just tell me bird, bird's eye view, sharp vision. Maybe you looking over something. Maybe you want to work with someone. I'm definitely getting the elements of earth and earth and air here. All right, so let's find out why is communion and vision quest here for fire signs definitely could be a business partnership because this could even be the exchange of ideas the exchange of visions why is eagle and desert here oh okay so this is definitely possibly the closing of one cycle in the end uh the closing of one cycle and the beginning of another one here i also always see the world card as completion um, I do also see it as travel. So you guys could definitely be traveling. Some of you guys to deserted places, deserted types of places like Arizona. Because with these two cards together, I'm kind of getting Arizona. Not even going to hold you up. But you guys could definitely be traveling, all right? Or like I said, relocating or... Completing the cycle and starting a new one. Why is communion and vision quest here? We got the page of wands in reverse. I need to see what else is going to come out with that. Because I can see the page of wands in reverse is so many different things. But 
basically, most of all, it's like some type of bad news for me here. So maybe for somebody, it can be bad news. Maybe you're exchanging some type of bad news or what's, what would be considered bad news to one person. Because with the world card, it's definitely looking like the ending of something here and the beginning of something new. So maybe you can be expressing to somebody that you're relocating, that you're going to go start a new business venture here. I definitely see this as business venture and not love. Okay, and you could be traveling and do so. I'm definitely getting like backpacking energy, like very free spirited energy here. But there was some type of transformation that took place for you guys to even feel like doing this. Maybe you were pretty content with where you were before. But now it's like, it's so abrupt for people that it's considered bad news. Because maybe people are feeling quite abandoned by you. Why is eagle and desert here? Oh, yeah. But you taking control over your life. We got Aries energy here. So if you leaving behind people, changing things, ending things, starting new things, you know, people that's being left behind, they definitely can see this as negative news. But I do feel like whoever you want to start this vision quest with, they seeing this as positive news. And so are you. Because in the emperor energy, you feel like you taking some type of control over your life here. I feel like it's people that's trying to talk you out of leaving because I'm getting that six of swords in reverse. So for whoever this could have been bad news to, of course, they're going to try to stop you from traveling. Okay? And they could be using everything in a book. You going to die with the coronavirus out here. How, um, you know, regardless of what, but I do see this as long distance travel. You got a vision and you getting ready to go the distance for this vision. But that's the thing. Your sights are already set on this. All right. I do see the King of Cups is like a diplomat, somebody that deals with people. So maybe you actually leaving the country. I mean, some of you guys can definitely be living, leaving the state, um, relocating for work or a project or something like that. But a lot of you guys can actually be traveling a distance across waters, over waters to be some type of, uh, like I said, a diplomat. Um to do some type of, what do you call that work, uh, where you go to different countries, countries that are in need, and you help out. Um, maybe you want to go do that, because I'm definitely seeing something more down to earth. And it's your dream to do this here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, any of the fixed signs. I'm getting Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Scorpio twice, Taurus. Yeah. You're not even defending yourself. You're just like, it is what it is. I'm doing it. A lot of people are being left at a loss here. So I don't know if you're going to make this actual move. Uh, I don't I don't feel like, I don't know if you guys are going to actually make this move this weekend. Or if you're telling people, because it's seeming like you're telling people. Because you still got people trying to talk you out of it. Or trying to get you to delay it or something to that extent. But I definitely feel like with communion... I'm, I'm feeling like when I think of flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood, would it be in bread um, and wine that you got, that you guys could definitely be um, sitting down and communicating this with family? Like, listen, I'm getting ready to go travel out the state. Um, there's people, I mean, or out the country. You know, I want to go do some missionary work here. Um, my, I feel like my time here is done. I'm feeling bored. I feel like I don't have a purpose here. So I want to move forward. Um, and I'm just going to take control over my life and do this. You know, I have an opportunity to do this and there is a possibility that you could be doing this with somebody. And, you know, of course your family is in this energy of, you know, um, chariot in reverse and six of swords in reverse where they don't want you moving on. You know, and then here you express yourself like, you know what, this is a dream of mine so with the star card here. You know, this is a dream of mine to actually go and help people and spiritually guide people. So you could be seeing yourself as a healer at this time. Again, with any type of diplomat work, I definitely see in like missionary work at a distance. You know, some of you guys can be going to Africa, Dubai, anywhere where um, it's deserty or... You know, people actually need help here. All right. So it's people that's actually depending on you. So unfortunately, fire signs, a lot of people are upset about your departure more or less for their own purposes. They're worried about feeling a loss here. So you're leaving people with 
burdens, responsibilities, or just heaviness here. And, you know, there's a sense of codependency. So maybe these are people that you were actually helping financially. Fire signs. Let's get one more. And then I'm going to start clarifying. Yeah, but the people that are burdened mostly by this, and I feel like you're not even bothering to defend yourself. It's just kind of like, okay, I said what I said. Like, I get where y'all coming from, but I'm going to just elaborate one more time. This is something that I always wanted the opportunity to do. Now that, now that the opportunity is here, I'm not missing it. All right, so... This could have came in reverse. If it is, then people definitely going to be gossiping negatively about this. And I don't think you care. Y'all like bring that gossip right on over here. Because um, I'm going to let y'all know right now, I'm a grown man or a grown woman. And I make decisions for my own life here. All right. So you guys, like I said, y'all could be sitting down having a bon voyage dinner. You know, you could be surprising your family and friends with this news. And it's a lot of people that's not happy about it. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? Expectations. People wasn't expecting you to do this. So this was kind of abrupt. Maybe you didn't speak to them. And that could be why the pages in reverse are why it's considered bad news. Is because people feel as though, you know, wow, this is happening so fast. Like, nobody really got a chance to come visit you, say goodbye. And you just like, I don't want all that, you know? Let me put that back because I don't even know where that came from. Why is the page of wands in reverse? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, moving to a different country and telling people that, people are concerned. I feel like people also feel as though you hid this. You know, people are sad with the fact that they're just finding this out. Some people may feel like, okay, you waited until the last minute to tell us so that we couldn't talk you out of it. And maybe you did. Why is the death card here? Yeah, you ready to start this new beginning? Death and rebirth. Whenever I see the death card clarified by the child, that's definitely a death of the ego and a rebirth. You, you in brand new energy. That's why you keep showing up as pages. But also as the emperor, because with this death and rebirth, you bossing up, manning up, womaning up, and you, you're making your own decision here. And you are standing resolutely in that decision. Like, look, I'm going to protect my honor. I know what it is I want. I'm not even going to bother arguing with y'all. I didn't come to ask. I'm coming to tell. And I'm moving forward. Why is the emperor here? So, unfortunately and surprisingly, water didn't show up for you guys reading. But they're the last ones left I have to do. So, I guess I didn't need the energy within the reading to guide me to the next. Which one to do next? Yeah. I feel like you trying to give some type of peace offering here. And it's not abrupt. Maybe you just giving people like a weak heads up. Like, okay, next week I'm leaving you guys. So, it's not like you getting on the train today or the plane today or whatever today. You know, this could be just like you giving somebody, giving people a short heads up, letting them know, sharing the knowledge. This is what type of project I've been presented with. And obviously it could be with a friend. Um, I wouldn't recommend really going out the country without a friend, but okay. If you did, you did. I don't want to be like your family members trying to tell you what to do, but you are telling your family members that you really feel like this is what's, what you're meant to do. You're meant for this. This is the right direction to be going in, and that's what you're going to do. Why is the chariot card here? And also, it could be not abrupt undo to you. Wow. There's blockages here. All right. So even if you plan on leaving, leaving right away, instead of in a week, maybe that's being blocked or delayed somehow, especially if it's to a different country. All right. So you're not going to be able to do it as quickly as, as you wanted to. I'm getting that with the broom, the broom and the upright. That's real fast energy and reverse. It's like slow down. Why is the king of cups here? Yeah, you are passionate about this work. It's like my mind is made up. I know what I want to do here. Why is the star card here? This is somebody's dream. Yeah, this is somebody's dream. You have always wanted to do this. 
when I see this, this is like you making plans here. We have the gift here. So again, you guys can really be into missionary work, philanthropy. Maybe you have a guilt or a niche for missionary work, helping people. Like I said, diplom di diplomacy. I don't know if that's how you say it, but people are definitely trying to convince you not to do it. You know, and again, I'm having that newer male show up, which is speaking to you being a newer energy, like having a re a recent rebirth here. Why is the seven of wands in reverse? Why is the seven of wands here in reverse? Yeah. And honestly, whatever this is, you're not going to be doing it for free. You're going to get paid big money. People, the, re the real reason why your family is so hurt, number one, it feel like this was long planned for you. Um, people feel left out of the plan. People feel like they, your family and friends and possibly even a lover, they feel as though you didn't even try to discuss it with the people that you love. Um, So that's the reason why it's so hurtful is because essentially it's like a secret coming out. And they don't like that. And again, I do feel like some people that you are leaving behind, they being left to suffer um, financially. Why is the nine of pentacles here in reverse? Yeah, you're going on that journey. You are going on that journey. You're counting on this. You're depending on this. You feel like it's the right thing to do. Maybe you already gave your word, so you really feel like it's the right thing to do. Why is the page of swords here? I feel like you have, you know, this could even be studying abroad for sure. It definitely can, especially with the page of swords here. Maybe you trying to become an exchange student or you trying to study something abroad um, and your family, they just don't agree. Why is the page of swords here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they feel like the house is going to be unstable. The family is going to be upside down. I got a huge feeling that a lot of your family toil and labor in reverse here. So basically, people are financially dependent on you. And that's the reason why they really hurt. In addition to that, they feel like they haven't really received the proper heads up to prepare for your income to be either taken out of the household or to prepare to stop receiving some type of help for you from you. Because I definitely get that fire signs, even if um, you weren't living in the same household, which there's a great possibility that you are. Um, that you were just actually helping out maybe your parents, you know, it could even be a sister, a brother, grandparents, something, but you were helping somebody financially that feels like they need you. And now without you, they feel like they're going to be struggling here. But I feel like right now you're more concerned with what it is that you want and you need. Maybe you feel like you already put enough attention into everybody else's needs. And now it's time for you to focus on your own needs. All right, so we're going to get the Shadow and Light Tarot going and see what's the outcome of this possible, what's the possible outcome of this situation. What's the possible outcome for um, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? Three little witches. All right, so when I get the three witches, the power of three, I definitely feel like you've passed up past opportunities. And that can be the reason why you don't give a damn. You like, you know what? Third time's the charm. This is the third time that I had an offer to work abroad, to go to school abroad, to join the military, whatever the case is. But this is the third time that this... um situation has presented itself to you and now you are ready you like you know what maybe i wasn't ready maybe i was too scared maybe i care more about what my my family think back then but now i'm going to go do this i'm going to go embark on this new journey and i don't care who don't like it why is it three witchy sisters here for fire signs passion wow okay you are passionate about whatever it is that you're trying to do and it's so crazy that this come out for you because y'all signs 
are indicative of passion, action, creativity, you know, movement, Archangel Hanel. Um, trust and follow your renewed passion for your love life and career, okay? So again, you could be going abroad with a partner. Um, it could be, like I said, a project partner, but it also could be a loved one. I really wasn't seeing love in this one. I feel like this is this is you at best possibly working with a, a work partner. Take your power back. And this is speaking to not allowing everybody to control your future and how it plays out or what's done here. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings over your life. So again, I do feel as though you have passed up and compromised and sacrificed your dreams over and over again because maybe your family wasn't in a good position back then when you had the opportunity the other two times. But at this time, I definitely feel like you doing it for you, Claire Sentient. Okay, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings. They are signif uh, They are as they signify divine guidance. Okay, so again, I do feel like you guys can be divinely guided to wherever it is that you're going. And why? Because it says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings, okay? So with the power of three, I'm definitely getting that this, this situation has presented itself to you or the opportunity has come knocking to you um, more than one time. And you're not letting nobody stop that at this time. So peace and blessings to you guys, fire sign. Good luck when it comes down to the situation. If this video helped you make a decision in any kind of way or it resonated in any kind of way, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Ciao.